Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Mochen Leira Online Smicha. The day of a chasna is not only special to the chasna and kala, and it's obviously a special day for them, but there's many halachas and many, many rewards that Chazal tell us for those who are misameach chasna and kala. The Gemara, we all know, the Gemara speaks about Amiraim, Tanoim, who would dance in a very unique manner to be misameach chasna and kala. And throughout the Yiddish communities, there are different customs of different dances that are done by chasnas. We will know, of course, the controversial mitzvah tans. Some do it, some have issues with it, especially how exactly it should be done. But then there's one particular dance that some people have the custom. Many people say they have no idea where the mucker for this dance is. And perhaps I could shed some light based on what I found, people, collections of... Uh, People were putting together different reasons for this particular dance. Now, the, the dance I'm talking about is the Mazinka dance. The Mazinka dance is when somebody is, is Zoycha to marry off his youngest child, then by, the, by that chasna you dance with a, with a broom, and there's some, some special dance with a broom in a special manner. And I'll tell you the truth, in, in, the, in different places I've seen, there's extremes here. From one hand, some say there's zero mucker to this, not only that, not only there's no mucker, actually, it could be that it's made up by a batchen. A batchen uh, once was trying to make Lebedik by a chasna. He said, okay, let's go, let's dance with a broom. From the other extreme, some say it's punk for a kert. The dancing with the broom by this, by this type, by, by this wedding, originally was very, very, very special. It was shamus that were carved out into the broom. But throughout the generations, people forgot to do that part, and they made a whole spill out of this just with the broom. But originally, it was it was Sirufa Shemes involved here. So what is Taka? Is there any reasoning, I mean, a source very few people bring? Is there any logical reasoning why some people have the minig of the Mezinkatans? So that one of the Paiskim of today bring a Pasuk in, in Yeshaya. The Pasuk says in Yeshaya, Perek Yud Dalit, the Pasik says about a negative chas v'shon t- situation that will take place. It says, v'samtia l'moyresh kipoid v'ag mayim. I will, I will, uh, the Ebesh just said, God forbid, I will, uh, I will make this into a pool of water. And sweep, and then the Pasik says, v'taytisiya bit mimetate hashmei ne'um Hashem tzivakais. And I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, Chas Shalom says Hashem Tzavakos. So we see the mitatea, which is the broom, is used, God forbid, for a negative connotation, destruction. And the Mepharshim say over there, it's referring to Kilui Bonim, Rachman Al-Tlan, losing children. So if God gave somebody this chus and the merit that he's able to survive and live to see Nachas from all his children and marry them all off, you dance with a broom to show the Baruch Hashem for this family. Thank God, the metatea, the broom, was used for a positive sense, and not chash v'shom, that kolah didn't, Baruch Hashem did not happen. That's one of the, one of the commentaries of today says. Then we, we find that metatea, metatea, which is in Hebrew is a broom, is mem tes aleph tes aleph, which is begimatria samach, 60. What is the significance of this broom, Samach? Samach is a round letter, it's a round circle. Meaning to say, this person, Baruch Hashem, was merited, had merit that he closed, went around circle. He, Baruch Hashem, he himself got married, and he himself, Ufkestelt Hashem uh, Mishpacha, and he closed the circle, and, and he's dinking gut with the Samach, with the, with the, with the, with the Metatea, which has the Gematria of Samach, Baruch Hashem. Another significance of the broom is we, a person, when uh, he gets to that situation and he marries off all his children, it, it might cause a little gaiva, pride, pride. Oh, look what I did. I was able, I able to ufshtom as nashen mishpacha. Look who my mechutanim are. Look, look I, I paid all the bills of, of, of the chasna, all the chasna bills. It might create some gaiva. So you make him dance with a broom. And the significance of the broom is a hey, mister. This broom, put it in any dirty room, it's the keili that with the which with which the, the room could get clean. But if nobody uses the broom, there's nobody there moving the broom, the room doesn't get clean. The same you should remember 
you are just like the broom. That it's you that's doing it. It's the, it's the strong force, milamayla, the connection, milamayla, that gave you the koyach and the schus, Baruch Hashem, to be able to re- live to see this, this great moment. There are, other few, there are a few other reasons, but I'm going to choose one or two more. One of the reasons it's, it was mentioned is it's brought in the, in, in the, in the Chumash that when, the, the, uh, when Yosef was born, the Pasik says, Vatoimer, she said, Asaf Elikim Escharpasi. Hashem cared about my, my, my busha, my embarrassment. Why, until then, she didn't have any children. Once she had her child, there's less busha, explains Rashi, that when, when a person is childless, things break. Ah, oh, the shlamazel is there. This is broken. It's all your fault. But when you have children, Baruch Hashem, you have where to blame Kvayochel. It's not a blame. When kids are in, uh, young kids are around, things break. So it doesn't make you look bad. This is what kids are. Kids are kids. So when the Abish the gate blessed, uh, blessed her with, uh, with uh, Yosef, she, her busha of having a dirty house is, that's normal. That's how it's supposed to be. So some of the Swarim say, now that all the children are, are Baruch Hashem married, now the broom goes back to you. Now it's, now you don't have any more excuses why this is, why this is happening. All your children are Baruch Hashem married, and they all are blessed with things. So here's the dance with the broom. And these are just some of the reasons that I found that are, are, are discussed for this thing. Of course, a clear din in Shulchan Aruch, it obviously isn't. But to show that many minhagim have some mekairis or reasoning, here is one of them.